So I can look you in the eye and tell you that Dremels are the only power tools I have successfully used in a bathtub. But it's not what you think, I swear. was like 4 a.m. the night before a robotics competition. I needed to make a part and I figured that tip was the best place to not make a mess. And then someone on my team decided to turn on the water. So it was a good time. Before we get started, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so that every time you log on to YouTube you see my smiling face. Dremel has become somewhat synonymous in the maker world with rotary tool. Kind of like Kleenex for tissues and post-its for sticky pieces of paper that you stick on things. <laughs> That's part of why I will refer to them as Dremels. I've never called them rotary tools in my life, but that is technically what we are discussing today is rotary tools. It's also worth disclosing that Dremel did send us the tool that we got today for free. However, all of the other Dremels Andrew and already had. We just like Dremels. Dremel knows we like Dremels. A rotary tool is essentially a spindle or a super fast motor that you can attach a variety of tools to. There are sanding bits, cutting wheels, polishing tools, engraving tools, grinding bits, a whole variety of tools that just the list goes on forever. What they all have in common is that they just need to spin really fast to do their job. Rotary tools come in a variety of types and power levels. They'll all spin at at least a couple thousand RPM and some all the way up to 35,000 RPM. The differences between them is that you'll have different amount of torque, which means that you can cut a different range of light to heavier duty material. The one we're using today is super light and battery powered. Uh, it is the Dremel Micro and we've linked it down in the description below. I think these are perfect for long term use because they don't fatigue your hand at all and also for beginners and for kids. If you need something with a little bit more oomph, everything that we're covering in the video today also applies to like plug-in Dremels and larger rotary tools. Alright, let's start with the roadmap of the tool. Regardless of whichever tool you pick, there are some basic things you're gonna need to know. So first is the spindle. This is the part that actually spins because it's connected directly to the motor. It's usually threaded to accept the collet and the collet nut. So next you have the collet and the collet nut. The collet fits directly into the spindle and then the nut screws onto the spindle around the collet to clamp the flanges down and hold your bit in securely. Next you have speed control. On your tool that could be a knob, it could be a slider, or it could be buttons like this one. You'll adjust the speed based on the bit that you're using and the material you're working on. Finally you have your power button. This is pretty self-explanatory. It turns the thing on and off. But it is worth noting that your bit should be securely held in place before you hit the power button or else things could kind of it's also important that you start the tool spinning before you touch your workpiece, because these things are designed to work off of momentum. Think static and kinetic friction, if that helps. Rotary tools spit off ultra-tiny particles, which can be hot, can be sharp, can all around be things you don't want in your eyeballs, so I highly recommend safety glasses. And also, if you have long, gorgeous, luscious locks like myself, be sure to put those up in a ponytail, or even better, a bun, um, because hair in a Dremel sounds like a really bad time. Depending on the material, gloves might be a good choice as well, and this is actually going to be like the only time you'll ever hear me suggest gloves on this channel, um, because typically in a machine shop I would say no gloves because those can drag your hands into a machine, but with a Dremel, the gloves would really win, and also you might be working with something like fiberglass or some sharp thing that could cut your hands, and also the gloves would win against the Dremel, um, because high speed, low power. Finally, if you're working with anything that makes tiny particulates, it's a pretty good idea to be in a well-ventilated room and or have a face mask because breathing in bad things for your body is bad for your body. Alright, to insert a bit, choose the bit that you're planning to use and then find a collet that matches it. If you're using a Dremel and Dremel's accessories, this is really easy. They'll pretty much all fit in their standard size. However, if you're not, be very careful that they are sized correctly or your bit could Alright, so to insert a bit, first you want to insert the collet into the spindle, and then gently screw the collet nut around that. Once it's attached, but not necessarily tightened, you're going to want to pick your bit. So in this case, I'm kind of in the mood to do some sanding, so I'm going to insert a sanding wheel in. Then you'll tighten the nut all the way down. If you're using a Dremel, these have a lock and a wrench, and you can get them extra tight. Once your tool is attached, you are ready to go. Just be sure that the tool is already spinning before you make contact with your material. And if your tool is slowing down as you're cutting, you are probably pushing too hard and you should ease up and let the tool get back up to speed. Usage depends on the bit, but feel free to request bits that you'd like to learn more about in the comments below. 
So that's pretty much the basics of setting up and using a rotary tool. There are a plethora of options you can do with this tool, so please get creative with us. Share it with us on social media. We are, our social media tags are somewhere, but it's pretty much at Beauty and the Bowl. We're easy to find. We love seeing the kind of stuff you guys make. So please send it to us. Let us know if you have any questions. As always, this is Zyla from Beauty and the Bolt. Andrew is behind the camera, and we are out. Mm -hmm.